So for some reason, Caitlin thinks I'm just going to come up here and roast her. I promise that's not the case. I could, but I won't. So for anyone that doesn't know, I am Caitlin's little sister. Although, according to Caitlin, I've always been the older sister. I think she forgets a lot of the things that she's done for me. When I sat down to write this, I had a very random big sister moment of us both on the, a bus, maybe a Camp Quest bus, I don't know why we're on a bus, and I had just gotten glasses, and some older kid, to me, he looked like he was like 18, which was not the case because I was a child, and he called me Four Eyes. And I've never seen someone stand up faster and say, well, four eyes are better than two. <laughs> Opening day Cardinals tickets. Yeah. Your relationship with Luke is definitely what has made me feel like little sister. Thank you, dear. You have set the husband and partner standard astronomically high. You two truly have such a healthy, strong dynamic, and I look up to your relationship in every way. Your best friends, which mirrors mom and dad's relationship, and Luke's parents' relationship to a T. And I refuse to settle for anything less because of you. Luke, when I first met you, I was super quiet. I think I maybe said two words to you. I have viewed you as a brother for a long time now. Even before we watched Caitlin stumble into the car in Virginia when you told me that you were going to marry her. My mother would have loved you. She would have loved your family. I know she's thankful that Caitlin has a wonderful family looking out for her now and showing her all the love that, that's all she's ever wanted. I know there's nothing more in a partner than mom would have wanted for you because she told me as much. In middle school, I was having some issues with some girls and I was sitting on the front porch at dad's and I asked her, who's your best friend? And in typical genie fashion, she made me guess. And after a couple handful of just terrible guesses, she finally told me that it was dead. Now at the time, I of course think this is a huge cop out because your husband cannot be your best friend. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but now I understand that's the dream. You did exactly what she wanted you to do. You found your equal someone that does not ask you to submit. You locked it down, and now your husband is your best friend too. Please continue to be patient with one another. Remember that compromising doesn't mean forcing the other what you, to do what you want them to do, and grow together through each stage of life that you are about to encounter. Couldn't be happier for the both of you individually and together. I only know it's gonna get better in here. So, if you would raise the glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Uding.